ready? Yep. All right. What's up, everybody? What's How's up? everybody doing out there? We're back. It's been, it's been a long time. Real long time, right? Yes. Quite, quite a few months since we were last out here doing anything like this. So we just wanted to turn on the cameras for a few minutes and just just let things flow naturally. Uh, it is November the 6th, yeah. 2000, 2024, 2024. We are the day after election day in the United Ooh. States. And uh, we just thought it would be a real good time to turn on the cameras for a few minutes and not do like a formal podcast episode like we used to, but we just wanted to uh, just come out here and say hello and touch base. I actually went on to the, um, the uh, page today and I saw that somebody had posted a comment Mm. And they were like, hey, long time no see, basically. That's what they said. Right. And, uh, you know, they, they were looking forward to some more of our content, but it's it's been such a while. And the reason that we haven't had any content out there is because, you know, we found that when we started our channel that, you know, a lot of our activity and a lot of our participation and engagement came from our South African audience. You're right. Right. And yeah. so not so much our people here in the United States. I mean, even people that we know, right? Right. So uh, we just decided um, that... And, and we also found that a lot of times that was tied into our South African content, like when we were over there visiting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, um, and that's kind of what it was. And it's been quite a while since we both went over there. It's like we were last over there, me, me and Melanie, um, back in February of this year. And actually, believe it or not, I was over there just last month yeah. uh, with our daughter. She didn't go. Right. Right? My daughter, when it was the first time uh, finally getting my daughter on the ground over there because, you know, when we bought the place, uh, she was the only one that had not yet gone this primarily because of her, her work schedule and everything. She right. wasn't able to get away and she was in school still studying, finishing her, uh, her degree at the time, um, when we first bought the place. So me and her finally made it over there. We didn't get a chance to, to shoot any footage, even though that we were out a couple places. Uh, like we went to the uh, we went to the Four Ways Farmer Market on on that Sunday that we were there. Had a good time there, so it was good to, for her to get a chance to see that. Mm -hmm. But we were really on a compressed time schedule because yeah, when, yeah, when we left, it took us like two days to get to Johannesburg because the day that we left, the hurricane hit mm -hmm. here in, uh, in in Georgia and in the Atlanta area. So we ended up having our flight delayed and we missed our connecting flights, uh, which a lot of times we fly direct, but this time we had connecting flights. We had to go through some other countries mm -hmm. to get there and it was just a disaster. So when me and my daughter got there, we had like, I think basically three and a half days. Yeah. Uh, and we may do an episode to kind of talk about that whole experience because we had a couple of crazy things happen while we were over there. But, uh, but yeah, but as far as Mel and me, um, it had just been, you know, a while since we had a chance to get over there. Um, and so, yeah, and, and of course, with the way things being as they are now, what has taken place in the United States, uh, we, you know, I guess we can break the news. Uh, that I actually made a joke uh, on one of our earlier podcast episodes. Remember how I said, like, depending, because yeah. we knew, we oh, knew yeah, the election yeah. was happening right. this year. Yes, yes. And I said, depending upon um, <laughs> what, what the outcome of the election yeah. is, you know, we may or may not I have to move things up. Yeah, we may or may not come back home when we go to visit because we right. were we were planning on being there for the for the festive season this year. Yeah, but the ticket prices are so ridiculously Ridiculous. expensive. Yeah, but of course now with you know with the results of the election mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and the new president taking over in late January of 2025, that really changes things for yes. us. Drastically. Uh, so, uh, so we've, you know, I, I made that joke about whether or not we we were going to re retire early uh, to South Africa, <laughs> we'll and, 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 and it's looking <laughs> and it's looking just like that. Yes. At this point, so it, it, and to be totally honest, you know, it, it's really tough for us to come in front of this camera mm. uh, today under these circumstances, yeah. and and those who are over in South Africa. You know, I'm, you know, I know that they've over history and even in you know, recent in recent history or whatever. They, you know, every country has its challenges, right? And I'm right. sure you know you have a lot of you over there probably was watching. Oh, the I'm, chaos. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the rest <laughs> of the world has been has been tuned in, right? Yes. So you know, it's just a it's a really tough situation with where Very. our country is going, where the Very. United States is going, and, and you know, the only thing that I can say. Uh, is that uh, the United States has made its statement about yep. what it believes itself to be. Exactly. And uh, a certain percentage of the people uh, have spoken and acted in, in a way mm -hmm. that they have said that this is the way what we see ourselves. Exactly. And this is the type of 
nation that we want to be. Right. And unfortunately for me and for us, I think That's it's safe to work. say um, that does not line up with not at with all the life that we uh, see for ourselves at this point. No. So you know, we have fortunately uh, we spent many years now, you know, uh, looking to South Africa uh, and the African continent in general, but but definitely South Africa with with our purchasing our property there and, you know, have been traveling there back and forth over the past few years now, uh, here and there, uh, with plans to to do our uh, our normal retirement, if you will, yeah. uh, once we got to retirement age yeah. uh, there and to, to then take and make some things happen in South Africa, which I, I think we have uh, some things to contribute in collaboration, you yeah. know, with our brothers and sisters there based upon what we do each do professionally. Uh, and you know what we're able to bring to the table, right. you know, and, and uh, living and uh, operating and working and collaborating mm -hmm. uh, alongside the people there. Yeah, and, you know, and that, just move those plans up. Yeah, yeah, and so you know, there, it, it's a, it's just really a lot for us to process right now, yeah, a lot. and uh, you know, many things for us to think about. You know, what we're going to do, and uh, specifically what we're going to do, and and the approach there. And obviously, you know, adjusting our finances and everything, getting all that in order and making sure that we uh, adjust, you know, to a new life, uh, you know, once we get there and then going through the visa process, yes. uh, which we have coming up in the coming months, Yeah. which, you know, uh, I, I just, for some reason, I thought when I went online that I would just see appointments like next week. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I can imagine Next they. Year. I can imagine they're probably inundated with appointments uh, right around and that's now. Probably going they to probably increase. had a, a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. uh, a bunch of those appointments disappear because yeah. we're going to have to go to the South African Embassy in Washington D.C. Right to uh, do our application process. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, we we feel good about it because we've we've uh, even though it's uh, <clears throat> it's a it's a challenge and it's a shock and to have to uproot your what lives. So than what we planned. But I think the good thing is this is something that we had already talked about. It's something that we had been planning for, right. but we was just wanting to do it a little bit further in the future. So right. now it's thrust upon us and now we have to take the necessary steps to uh, realize, you know, what it is we've been planning for quite some time now. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, so we only thing that we can do is press forward, and right. uh, you know I, I feel positive about it because, like I said before, I we would not have in, invested into South Africa in the first place. Right. You know, we're purchasing the property there right. and spending time mm -hmm. back and forth there if if we didn't see the potential there and if we didn't enjoy mm -hmm. uh, South Africa. You know, the strange thing was last night, and I told you about this. I, I had a guy, and it's it's weird the way, as they say, God works or the universe works or the way things just kind of happen in your life. When I was uh, uh, Work, working as a as a poll worker last night at the at the election location, mm -hmm. uh, this elderly uh, white couple uh, came over to me. They had to be in their late seventies or something, you know. And and it turns out they wanted to meet me because they saw me sitting at the table and I was wearing this badge because I was a, a poll watcher, right, to monitor the election. And it turns out that they were uh, nonpartisan election monitors, like international election monitors, and they had traveled from South Africa to come over here specifically for the purpose to monitor the U.S. presidential mm -hmm. election. And in the course of him just introducing himself to me and saying something about it, and I asked him a question, and he alluded to the fact that they had traveled from their home in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And my eyes just lit up, because earlier that day, there was another woman that was at the polling location with me, and it turns out she was a, a flight attendant for Delta Airlines, and she happened to see this on my wrist yesterday morning just kind of peeking through on my arm and she's like mm -hmm. hey what is that mm -hmm. you know and because it turns out that she travels the the atlanta to johannesburg leg on the delta flight right as a flight attendant all the time she's been holding down that mm -hmm. route she said for the past year mm -hmm. right and so it was just just really weird that two situations right. yesterday thing. presented themselves around mm -hmm. south africa right. because somebody saw me wearing this bracelet and right. then this one guy mentioned that and as soon as I keyed on to what he said and I told him I was like wow I said you know we we own a a home in South Africa mm -hmm. you know he was like what part I said Johannesburg he said oh Josie that, that's that's where we live in Johannesburg and so they were Americans who've been over in South Africa on two occasions for a period of total of about maybe 20 years now oh okay they were there for like nine years at one point and then they came back to the United States 
mm. you know, for like a couple of years and they moved back and they've been there ever since, mm -hmm. like for the last nine, 10 years or whatever. And they're, they're up there in age. But it turns out when we were talking about uh, the fact that we have a son in, in college, mm -hmm. uh, second year of college, he's in university studies right now. Uh, this guy spoke to the fact that uh, that his daughter was a professor at Oxford at one point, which is in England. Mm -hmm. And I guess his son-in-law is a professor at the University of Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to pull out his business card when he asked me when was the next time we were going to be there. And I told him, I was like, it's, depending upon the outcome of this election, we may be there before inauguration. Day. Right, because this was before the results were announced. This was before the <laughs> results were announced. Yeah. And uh, and he, he told me, he, he gave me his business card, and he said, you know, when you're in Johannesburg, he said, uh, we look forward to maybe hearing from you, right? Mm -hmm. And then, again, this is someone who, on the surface, I have little in common with. Right. But during the course of our conversation, we learned that we have so much more in common than we, than we, had, than we realized. Right. And, that, and that, ironically, that was one of the campaign slogans mm -hmm. that Kamala Harris had out there. We, she made it a part of her speech yeah, yep, in time. trying to make the pitch to the American people right. how we need to come together and, and pursue a new attitude mm -hmm. and a new, just, a new way forward in this country. But it wasn't and that enough. We, it, and that we have a whole lot more in common than we have difference. Right. But uh, but this guy, he gave me his business card, and he is an honorary uh, professor. Yes. At at Wits, there in Johannesburg, and so I was just I was just thinking, I was like, wow, this is I was just amazed at how uh, these situations presented themselves mm -hmm. yesterday and the timing of things. Right. You know, and so we had a lot of really good conversation about. He asked me, you know, what part uh, that we, what part of Johannesburg we lived in, and so he was able to I identify. Uh, with some of the areas that I was telling him about, and mm -hmm. he kind of lived. I I don't know if they live down in that same area, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but it was it was really cool. So I look forward to reaching out to him and having some more conversations and telling him like, hey, it's looking like we're coming. <laughs> you know On what, the way. what what can you know what can we do for, you know for my for my son to get right. him, and so we'll have to get him applied to school mm -hmm. there. And so we got a lot of we just have so much research to do. Um, with, uh, you know, with, with institutions there in the Johannesburg area, uh, whether it be something like, you know, Wits uh, or uh, University of Johannesburg, mm -hmm. you know, for his particular area of study and those right. types of things. And it, it's it's going to be a major adjustment for us. Yes. Um, but it's something that you know, overall that I, I, I can say I feel positive about. Yeah. Uh, and again, we just, you know, we, we love South Africa. Yeah. Uh, Johannesburg, uh, which is pretty much the area that we've been in thus far. We haven't had a chance to, we've, I flew into Cape Town, mm -hmm. um, traveling back uh, one time, but we haven't had a chance to spend in Cape Town, but we ended up, you know, buying in Johannesburg and that's where we spent all our time anyway. Yeah. So, you know, we just look forward to finally getting an opportunity to, uh, you know, to be on the ground there. Have on the more, planet there? And, 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 and start start to build yeah. and, uh, you know, get to know more people and, yeah. you know, the whole culture uh, there and, and, and make some things happen, you know, yeah. that are going to be, you know, I hope uh, positive, you know, mm -hmm. for the Johannesburg area and the people of South Africa yeah. uh, and, and our ability to do our little part, right? you know, to uh, to 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 see that mm -hmm. uh, into the future. Yeah, Which we we we. Have always thought that, and I said the same thing last night. And the guy was talking to me, and I told him, I said, you know, I've always thought that South Africa has a bright future. And he spoke to the same thing about the new government that's in place, and he oh. gave me some history and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, uh, about that whole dynamic. And I know things are not perfect anywhere, and there are right. always going to be complaints about stuff. But you know, he 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 f feels that you know that overall it's going to move in a positive direction, oh, and they still good. got some. You know some growing pains that they're oh, going yeah. through, and he, he I, one thing that I really liked about him was that he acknowledged the, the fact of the impact of the historical challenges that we as black people have had, mm -hmm. both in South Africa and mm -hmm. here in the United States. Mm -hmm. He spoke to Jim oh, Crow, okay. and he spoke to the uh, the lasting impact mm -hmm. and the challenges that remain because of right. uh, what uh, what apartheid brought right. you know, over there. Mm -hmm. You know, and so. Uh, and it wasn't surprising because understanding, you know, who he was mm -hmm. and the role that he was serving mm -hmm. last night and, you know, the, the what he did here in the United States working right. at the Carter Center, which right. is a, a democratic, oh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, democratic uh, think tank. And, and uh, I don't know what's the term, the proper term to put on it, but 
that's what they are focused on, you right. know, when you're looking at international affairs exactly. and democracy, promotion yeah. of democracy and those types of things, mm-hmm. because that's who Jimmy Carter yeah. was, you know, as, as a politician. But then even, too, president. the fact that he was here, you know, looking at our elections and, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, just... He cared enough to exactly. come over here and, and do that, yeah, so... Yeah, it gives you some different perspectives, how, how it's different from the elections in, you know, Africa, South Africa, mm-hmm. and so I think that's important, that's good. Yeah, he, and so he was talking about that, he had a positive outlook as well, and, yeah. and he, he said, you know, he spoke to a lot of the perceptions that people have about of South course. Africa, you know, mm-hmm. uh, from a, a security perspective and those types of things, mm. and, you know, but again, you know, we live here in the United States, right. and, and there's mm-hmm. there's instability can be can happen can happen any place, right? Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so that's what's kind of like in a in the forefront of our minds, you know, as we take and move forward. But we just wanted to just come out and just say hello to the people again, yeah, because it's, it's it's been a while, and we just have uh, we have a lot of tough work ahead of us, and so we expect to kind of share content on a on a more regular basis. It's not something that's going to be every day. But, you know, as we go through this process and as yeah. we hit these different, you know, these different milestones and challenges and things that mm-hmm. come up, you know, we, we, we want to talk about it as we, uh, you know, and then just kind of start to have more conversations with the people, you know, yeah. to get their perspective on I mean, it's different that, when we were talking about it previously because we were just, you know, it was just talk. But now we actually are doing it. So we yeah. will definitely be able to. Uh, talk about the process as we're actually moving through it because it won't be hypothetical at that point. Well, the process we talked about before were things like going through the process of buying our place over there yeah. and then setting up bank accounts and that type yeah. of stuff. But now we're getting ready to have to deal with the yeah. visa process for each of us. Yeah. And, you know, dealing with immigration because mm-hmm. now we're the immigrants. Right. You know, we're so right. used to the United States. Yeah. Everybody you know, coming over to this side, yeah. you know, and, and, and but now we're going to experience now we're, we have side. to be at the mercy. We have to be at the mercy of, yeah. of the South African government yeah. and their, uh, and their goodwill. If yes, you will, it's right? going to be an interesting process. So, uh, but again, I, I I'm positive about it. And, yeah. uh, I look, I look forward to, uh, us, you know, when we get there and we finally get our feet firmly planted, mm-hmm. uh, uh, to where we can start to, you know, to, to make a difference and contribute. Yeah. That's the key word is contribute over there. Yeah. And uh, we hope, you know, we just hope that, uh, you know, that we're able to forge some, some good relationships with the people there and yeah. that we will be well received because, you know, obviously we have good intentions. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I think, I think more of us on this side need to open up to that. And I think yeah. that we, it, we need to have more dialogue. They probably will now because, I mean, yeah. a lot of people are, 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 are talking yeah, along talking those lines. Is, yeah. uh, more people who look like yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think there's just a lot uh, for up. us to to gain from each other, mm-hmm. from the diaspora. We're working together and working through a lot of the, the nonsense that we see mm-hmm. that's perpetuated online right. by by individuals mm-hmm. and whoever with, yeah. with ill intentions who mm-hmm. don't want to see that happen. So, exactly. You know, I, that's definitely not something that, that I and, and we right. uh, aim to do. And right. we made that clear. Even on our earlier, even on our earlier podcast episodes. Mm-hmm. So, yep, we sure did. You know, but so yeah, that's what it is, people. And we just wanted to come out and, and say hello and just kind of give, a give an update. update, give yeah. a quick update. And we hope to give more updates uh, in the future. But uh, yeah, we're winding down 2024. It's been a crazy year. Crazy, been a crazy year. Crazy. But uh, the only thing we can do is is try to, you know, keep a positive attitude about things and keep pressing forward because we only get one life. Right. And it's unpredictable, people. Exactly. It's extremely unpredictable. Very. So we just enjoy the time that we have and make the difference that we can make. Mm-hmm. And uh, with that, we'll wrap it up. So, hey, y'all. It's been uh, real. And once again, it's Mel and me. And this is not the podcast. It's just a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we're probably going to use this format more so keep it simple yeah you know and even when, when we get over there we'll, yeah we'll just kind of use this approach so hey we'll talk to y'all later y'all take care all right peace all right bye okay but before we go and the dog jumps up here hey i always tend to forget this whenever we do our videos like, like share, share and subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> all right y'all sorry about that take care